thing and this song and so I'm kind of taking some cues from that and then adding in some Hendrix stuff and you know just, just making it fun right so and there's a lot going on I kind of threw the kitchen sink in this thing um, so we're gonna start out we're gonna do the intro the way it's recorded go open a two on D two on G and then pull off three to two on B it's a real fast and then get your pinky on five on E all right and then we're gonna walk in some sixth uh, you got A and G four on A two on G then you got five and four A and G and then we're gonna slide into seven and six and we're gonna do it twice like that right I just think it sounds cool so you have uh, Okay, and after you slide in twice, put your thumb down on 5 on E, put your pinky down on 7 on D, right? And we're going to arpeggiate E, D, G, B, G, D. Okay, then we're going to go... Uh, Five on B, six on G, hammer on to seven, then hit five and six by itself, and then get seven on D. Then you're gonna bar B and E on five, hammer on to seven B, and then get a uh, six on G, seven on B, hammer on to uh, six on G. Okay. Two three G B. Hit it twice and hammer on to four on G. Then hit open D. That kind of arpeggiated. Then we're gonna get D on five and then hit two three G B. And then walk back to four D. Just hit it once. Then we're gonna slide up to. 9 on A, get 7 on D and G. So that whole part you have a... Okay, then we're back. Thumb on bass. We're going to arpeggiate a 6, or 7, 6, 5, 5. D, G, E, B, G. In some sixth, uh, you get seven to nine G and E. Do it twice on nine. 
and then catch 11 and 10 G and E. And then we're gonna hit bar B and E on 10, hit it twice, hammer on to 12 B. And then we're gonna get a 9 and 10 G and B, hammer on to 11 G, and then hit open D. And then we're gonna go to 11 and bar 10 on B and E. And we're gonna hit open D with it. We're gonna hammer on to 12 on G. And then arpeggiate the E and B, right? And then take your finger off of 12 and just play 11. So that whole little part, you get a... Uh, major, slide into 14 on E, get A and D on 12, thumb in the bass on 12, and then get 14 on D, 13 on G, bar 12 on B and E, so that'll be your chord, and then we're just going to go E, D, G, and give it a smack, and we're going to walk down these double stops, this is a little uh, Jimi Hendrix exercise, I always do, it's a... Uh, it's real fun. You can um, there's licks and positions out of this. I won't go into that here, but everywhere you hit a double stop, puts you in a different position of the pentatonic scale to be able to solo out of, right? So it's a cool thing to know. So you're gonna have B and E on 12 ham, uh, bar, hammer on to 14 B. And then you have um, all these will be hammering on the G from here. So when I say hammer on, I mean the G. So we're going to have 11G, 12B, hammer on to uh, 13G, then have 9 and 10, hammer on to 11, then have 7 and 8, hammer on to 9, then you're going to have uh, 6 and 7, ha hammer on to 8, and then 4 and 5, hammer on to 6. Okay. Okay. Then we're going to go into A. Arpeggiate it, open A, 2-2, two, two, and pull off 3-2. to two. Then we're going to slide in these thirds, 3 and 4, B and G, to 5 and 6. And then slide in G and B, 7 to 9, and then back. thirds. So you're going to have uh, A and D strings, 11, 9, 9, 7, then uh, 7, 6, 5, 4, and then 2, 4, and after you get to 2 and 4, bar A and D on 2 and hammer on to 4 on A. So you get... the chord and then hammer on a uh, 2 to 4 on G and then land on D on 4 to finish it we'll go back to E and we're going to slide in these 6 from 2 to 4 G and E and then 4 to 7 and then resolve to your A Appreciate this A. E, D, G, B, E, B, G, D, right? And then we're going to go. Uh... Alright, I love that little walk. So we're going to bar B and E on 5, hammer on to 7B, and then hit 5 by itself, and then catch 7 on G. And we're going to go 4, 5, G, and B, hammer on to 6G, back to 4, 5 catch 7 on D. So you get... And then we're going to bar D and G on 7, hammer on to 9 on D. Just hammer on, and then go up a set of strings to A and D, bar 9, or 7, hammer on to 9A. Alright, so that whole part... Uh, 9 on A, keep your, uh, get your
get your pinky on 10 on E, walk it down from 10 to 9, and then pull off to 7. We're kind of playing like a D, what is that, like a, it's like a first inversion of D major, right? And then we kind of go to like a D7, or D major 7. kind of walking that. Alright. Then back to A. Arpeggiated. And then we're going to go uh, 5, 4, G and B. Hammer on to 7, G. So you hammer on. And then 5, 4. Then the 7, D. Then B and E bar on 5. Hammer on to 7, B. Back to 4, 5, G, B, hammer on to 6, G, and then into the D. Basically what we did in the intro. Right? So that you get a... Just go back to 2 and 3, hammer on to 4, and walk down that 5 to D, to 4. Bridge. We're gonna have open E, two two, one. And we're just gonna pull off a G on the first fret, and then we're gonna slide in this little E lick. Slide in two to four on E, bar A and D on two. Then put your thumb on two for the F sharp. And then D on four, bar G and B on two. Actually, bar D, G, and B, because we're going to pull off four to two on D. All right, so you hit D and G together. All right, you're going to do that. I like to throw in a little lick, this little, I uh, can't remember how I played it. So I just slide into 12 on E, get nine on E, you get 7 on E, to 10 on B, to 7 on B, so you get a, okay, then I get D a stab, just because I want to hear the bass note of D, so I don't go right to the inversion. Because E's in the bass, right? And we're going to E, so it sounds kind of strange. So I hit D first. Five, seven, seven, seven. And then I bar uh, A, D, G on seven and pull off a nine A to seven. I'm hitting the D string with it. All right, so. straight then we're gonna hammer on pull off nine to seven nine on D to seven on G and then get ten on B back to seven on G and then land on nine D okay then we're gonna walk up E major we're gonna walk it up and then extend it Bar D, G, B, and E on 9. Get 10 on B. Then 12 on B. And then we're going to go 10 on B, 11 on G. Slide into 12, 13. And then get a 14 on G and B. Slide into 16. Or you can just kind of slide off of it. So, uh... this uh, basically your short form of your uh, C shape A chord right so bar uh, 9 D G B and E have 11 on D 10 on B give it a smack and we're gonna walk down all right so you're gonna have a 9 and 10 G and B hammer on to G on 11 
back to 9, 10, and get 12 on D. Then bar D and G on 9, hammer on to 11 D. Back to 9, and get 12 on A. And then bar A and D on 12, hammer on to 14. And then bar E and A on 12, and hammer on to 14 E. And then just kind of arpeggiate it. triad you got f sharp as your bass so that'll be like your first inversion right and then we're gonna walk up bar uh, 12 a and d hammer on to 14 walk it up two frets to 14 16 and then up two more frets to uh, 16 17 all right so that whole little part is uh the A, do the 6th on G and E, slide in 7 to 9, slide back to 7, then get 6 and 5 G and E, and slide into 11 and 10 G and E, put your thumb in the bass on 10, and then we're going to walk up 12 G and E, and hit the open D with it, and then the 14, back to 12, to A. I think that's where I left it off because the song just keeps repeating, right? So we'll start, uh, I guess we'll just go from the beginning real slow through everything, right? You get your intro. slow there's a lot of stuff going on it's kind of tricky to play um just have a beat or something going to kind of help you stay in time with all the changes and everything but that's everything um there's a lot of other stuff you can do there's so many licks you know this could go on and on but um so that'll give you some cool little jimmy isms to kind of play over a simple progression like this so just practice slow and have fun <laughs>